in a little town now. It's like a little high street of a little of a little town. 您已离开区间测速路段，平均车速四十六。Incidences, and I guess that's another incident. That's somebody who is driving super slowly and just merging into the road without indicating, and now they're just driving super slowly. So that would be a local person who's just like, you know, not concerned with other people. And we've got a truck doing a. U turn here, a light truck. So yeah, this is the kind of stuff that happens on the that happens on these smaller roads. But but for the amount of suffering you have, you know, with things like that, you also get the. Um, you also get the joys of.、Um, Of these little towns and、um, seeing a few different different places. And yeah, this is definitely, I would say, the best time of year to drive in、uh, any country, probably. See, look at this. We've got a truck. I don't know what he's doing, but he's overtaking. Yeah, but that's the kind of stuff you got to look out for. Because、um, there's no point thinking about who's wrong and who's right. You know, you've got to avoid a collision. So, yeah. Okay, now Lena, is this where we're turning left? One mile before turning to the right. This is、um, this is quite lovely countryside. Well, I don't know about that hole, but there's a lot of tree farming around here, and、um, it's a beautiful day. It's a spring spring day. So driving in this kind of countryside, it's、uh, it's great. It's really great. So Lena, Lena, and I will be back to work. We'll be back to work tomorrow, like everybody else in China. It's interesting, you know. Like I just sort of feel like the, ho the holidays, they they sort of explode, you know. Like everybody's active, everyone's everywhere, and、um, and then the second day, there's like another explosion, and then the third day, there's like another explosion, and then like on the fourth day, you get this kind of feeling that you know everybody wants to everybody wants to have done something, you know. Like nobody nobody wants to just have this memory of like. Just being at home, and、um, oh, there's some graves over there. Yeah, that's a good room, I guess.、Um, so then you get, you know, so then you get everybody. Everybody rushing about on the last day, trying to make something of the holiday. <coughs> Just have this feeling. Everybody has this feeling, like they don't want to go to work. And in China, the really terrible, bizarre thing about China is that when employees get a long holiday, they usually have to work extra days to make up for it. So, <clears throat> so my well, my wife will have to work. Uh, six days to make up for it, and、um, a lot of people who work in companies will have to do that.、Uh, you know, like I always. I always say that her job is easy, and、um, 
she thinks my job is easy. So, <laughs> but we're lucky, you know. We both have we both have jobs that we that we enjoy. I really enjoy being an English teacher, and uh, sometimes I I just almost pinch myself and just think, wow, you know, like I get to I get to do something I quite enjoy. I quite enjoy for a living. It's funny though, because when I was younger, I, I don't think I was very good at it. I didn't have a, very much knowledge, but when I was younger, you know, I had more energy and, uh, and whatever. I was probably, even though I had less knowledge, I was probably better at it when I was younger, just because I was younger. Um, and when you're older, then you're talking to these 19 year olds and these 20 year olds, they're kind of looking at you in a different way, whereas when you when you're in your 20s, you know, you're still, what's the word, you're still relevant or still exciting to them, they can still sort of relate to you and stuff, you know, and you, I think they listen to you a bit more, but when you're nearly 40, and they can sort of predict what a lot of my views are because I'm in China, um, it's definitely definitely a bit less exciting but my scores and stuff are really high so the students rate the teachers so yeah, my scores are pretty high but I just feel like it's a young it's a young man's game but yeah I'll try to do it try to do it for a couple more years and that might be that might be it but I'm lucky I've made pretty good decisions and I've been pretty careful so I can stop in a couple of years and just do something different or do nothing. Be a rich poor person or a poor rich person. But yeah, this trip has definitely made me think that um, traveling around China might be a lot of fun. Um, there's certainly a lot of stuff to see in China, and uh, even budget hotels like the, the one we just stayed at, the White Knight Hotel. I must admit, when I was riding my motorbike, I used to look at that hotel and I used to think, oh, you know, like, that's not a good hotel, you know, I used to think, that's pretty sad, like, um, I deserve better than that, but but having stayed there just then, you know, like, the White Knight Hotel Company, it's it's pretty awesome, like, it's pretty amazing, you know, like, there's nothing I could really say about that hotel that's that's bad. I mean, yeah, you can have a, you, you could you could want a bigger room, but, but when you're traveling and, and you're just an ordinary person, um, that size room is fine, like, it's very much big enough. So yeah, the White Knight Hotel Company, I'm very impressed, you know, like the washing machines. I mean, being able to put on a clean shirt today and um, put on clean trousers, clean socks, everything, it's a pretty nice feeling. Like it really changes traveling. Like when you're in, when you're in the same clothes for a while, um, it can start to feel a little bit And yeah, I mean, if here we go, this is why you've got to be you've got to be careful because that truck driver he obviously just assumed oh well this guy will see me and I'll just do what I'm going to do and he'll get off the road. So it's that kind of it's that kind of mentality. You know, you can't have the mentality that you have a right to be on the road or something like that. Is this the right is this is this the right way, Lennon? Straight? Go straight. Just with that traffic light. Yeah, you get the 
this guy, as you know, they're like, they look like they're pregnant. And, um, they're going to have lunch. And they just don't look, and they just don't seem to care. They, they seem indifferent to their to their life and the life of the the life of the child they're carrying. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, they're carrying a child. They're, they're, um, they're just big boys, but I'm a big boy myself. So I know, but, but yeah, in these little towns, you, you just people just cross the road. They just don't care about cars. Now, Papa, what about up here? Which way do we go? It's not a, it's not, well, it's technically a highway, I suppose, but it's not a, um, a toll road, it's just a free, a free highway, it's a, um, provincial level highway. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely better than your average Tianjin provincial highway, and I guess Tianjin's been spending a lot more money on roads after COVID-19, you know, after the COVID-19 recession. So the roads are the roads are being upgraded. But yeah, we've come through all of this like uh, all of these rural areas and now we're getting we're getting into we're getting into Tianjin. Pretty uneventful um, drive, you know, we had a couple of times where trucks were overtaking and and uh, even I got impatient impatient a few times and overtook on the inside a few times but yeah we've made it we made it back in one piece no tears um, and yeah it's been a been a good drive the bottom's definitely getting a little bit sore a little bit sick of sitting in this seat now but it's been a good drive and yeah, it'll be good to get home actually. I'm looking forward to shaving and and uh, I'll get my wife's father, my father-in-law. I'll get him to give me a haircut tonight. Hopefully he'll hopefully he'll agree to that. Um, yeah, he's good at cutting my hair and um, it's. Fun. I don't have to shave at all. Shave at all. Shave at all. Shave at all. China when you just deliberately show before your hair. I've done it a few times, but I don't know. I might not. I might not. I might just get him to cut it for me. But um, anyway, yeah, this road's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this road. This is almost like a Qingdao quality or a Shandong quality road. Yeah, this is um you couldn't say really anything negative about this road. Actually, it's a uh, really beautiful, really good, really good road. Yeah, it's easy to sneak up off the speed limit here because um, there's no cameras. And, yeah, but I'm still trying to keep it, keep it at about 80. Yeah, the Chinese are famous now. They're quite famous for their road building, and they're building they're building roads all over the world. There are still a lot of roads that need to be upgraded in China, of course. But um, yeah, <laughs> my friends tell me like when they first came, like 20 years ago, it wasn't easy to find a good road. Like a lot of the roads were still pretty rough then. They had they had like a national highway network but a lot of the provincial level roads were pretty were pretty rough so it's it's really great like I do love I do love the Chinese, the Chinese roads the new Chinese roads they're pretty they're pretty cool 
the only bad thing about them is um, a lot of them you can't ride a motorbike or a bicycle but that's okay other roads are getting upgraded as well gotta slow down here a little bit I'll go past this guy don't know what he's doing but he's just going a little bit slow Yeah, sometimes I sometimes I do wonder how I'll go driving in the other seat, you know, driving on the driving on the left because um, yeah, I've been driving on the right for a long time now. 六百米处有限速八十拍照，当前车速九十四，您已超速，请沿外环调整路，继续行驶十二公里。Pride past those cameras now. But you could do any speed on this on this road now. I mean you could do 110, you could do 120. Very safe. But they might be letting the road settle just because they've um, they've just made it. That could be the that could be the reason. When you make a new road you have to um, you have to expect changes in the surface. So that might be the reason. Yeah, my friend's father is actually a bit of a, well, he was a bit of a road builder. <clears throat> so it's not just the, not just the Chinese that are good at building roads. Australians are also very good at building roads. And, um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest for a minute that Chinese roads are superior to Australian roads, but the Chinese have just built so many roads that by volume, it's like a lot of things, I mean, by volume they've been, uh, Australian roads. Less, less of them. But, um, I sound like a liberal, like a liberal National Party guy, but I really, I really do wish that they would spend more money on roads. I mean, there should be a, there should be a four-lane or an eight-lane highway, concrete probably between Brisbane and Melbourne. Uh, yeah, there's some ridiculous places in Australia, like for example, when you go to Adelaide, it's really dangerous. I mean, there's, there's so many things, so many things that could be fixed. And uh, where I where I grew up in Port Royal, there's this there's this uh, ridiculous like dog leg that goes all the way around this. Um, I guess it avoids like a lot of the, you know, the issue would have originally been because of landowners, but I mean, for goodness sake, when it's the year 2021, I've just never understood why they built a tunnel, why they didn't build a tunnel between Thurlstein and, uh, and the road leading past the old mill. So there's... Where do I go? Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Straight? Left or right? Straight? Left or right, straight? Keep straight. Okay. 